The fresh surge of emotion in Ferguson, Missouri. Late today, the parents of Michael Brown, that unarmed teenager who was shot and killed by a police officer, appearing at this wrenching but peaceful church service. Overnight, however, the situation was anything but peaceful. Protesters in the streets flouting a newly imposed curfew and squaring off with police. Seven people arrested, one person shot by another protester, and law enforcement back out in force, back in their riot gear and back in their tanks. All of this, as for the first time, we are seeing the face of this man, the police officer who killed young Michael Brown. Who is he? And will he face criminal charges? We are covering all of the angles as we head into what could be another tense night in Ferguson. And we begin here with Alex Perez, who's right in the middle of it all. Alex? Dan, good evening to you. It has been a week and a day since Michael Brown was killed. And I want you to take a look behind me here. Still huge crowds gathering on the streets of Ferguson. Tonight, hundreds of people have come in from out of town to attend that special rally. Today, Hundreds crowding this mega church in St. Louis remembering Michael Brown. In attendance, the slain teen's mother. Does the support mean something to you guys? And the officer in charge of keeping the demonstrations under control. I want to start off by talking to Mike Brown's family. And I want to know my heart goes out to you. And I say that I'm sorry. I wear this uniform. And I should stand up here and say that I'm sorry. That heartfelt apology from Captain Ron Johnson coming after another night of clashes. Line it up. A small army of police officers again in full riot gear. Don't shoot. Confronting a crowd of protesters out in defiance of that midnight curfew. You are violating the state imposed curfew. You must disperse immediately. The critical point when police learned some in the crowd were armed and one person had been shot. That person now in critical condition. Officers first launching smoke canisters. We're going to lob smoke first, smoke first, and see if we can't disperse the crowd without having to throw gas. Then tear gas to break up the crowd. The anger here apparently sparked in part by the release of the surveillance video Friday. Police say they believe it shows Michael Brown stealing cigars just 15 minutes before he was shot. Brown's family calling it a distraction and an attempt to smear his image. This morning on This Week, Governor Jay Nixon saying local authorities should have never released the video. We were unaware that they were going to release it and we certainly were not happy with that, uh, that being released, especially in the way that it was. It appeared to, uh, uh, you know, cast aspersions on a, on a young man that, uh, was gunned down in the street. And we have talked to a lot of the protesters out here tonight, and they all tell us the same thing. They will continue to demonstrate until charges are filed against the officer that killed Michael Brown. Dan? Certainly does not look like things are slowing down behind you, Alex. Thank you.